there's always ways of engaging people with, with your research, I think. I mean, we have mathematicians who work on wave theory, who go out to science festivals and do cool stuff. You just need the right way uh, to demonstrate what you're trying to show. So the project is all about, um, well, as the name suggests, our hunt for new antibiotics and the kind of weird and wonderful places that we try and find them. We started working on leafcutter ants about 10 years ago. As soon as we started working on them and we got our first captive colony of leafcutter ants set up in the lab, I thought this would be an amazing thing to go and show to people. And it became clear that that would be a great way of talking about antibiotics to the general public. So we just started taking the ants out to science festivals, starting off in Norwich and then going further afield. Uh, like Royal Society Summer Science was one of the first big ones we did. And people loved it, so we just carried on doing it. We want people to go to university and study science, and partly because we want the general public to be engaged with science and think it's important so that they can you know, pressure governments to fund it. So unless the general public thinks something is important, then governments won't actually put any money into it. Um, so for us, you know, having a great public perception of science will encourage uh, more and more people and government to support science. That's what we hope, and microbiology in particular, because that's what we love. So I always try and keep in mind that I shouldn't use all those silly big words that scientists use all the time. And actually, I kind of believe that anybody can understand all of the stuff we do if we explain it in the right way. I think if people don't understand it, we're not explaining it right. I think the biggest problem is the word antimicrobial resistance, because people think humans become resistant to antibiotics, uh, which is a massive misconception. So people seem to have trouble making that leap um, towards understanding it's the bacteria inside their body that are resistant to the antibiotics and not themselves. Um, so just getting that across, I think, helps. I think thing, terms like superbug don't really help either. Um, but how we change the terminology now seems almost impossible. But I think the thing to do is just go out there and you know, explain, try and explain to people why antibiotic resistance is a problem, you know, why they shouldn't go to the GP and take antibiotics when they've got a sore throat. These are the kind of things that we tell people every time you see them.